Hey guys, welcome to McKittrick Canyon. Come along with me as I hike through the most beautiful spot in Texas. Well, I just started my hike. That over there is the Wilderness Ridge where I was last night. And just beyond the top of that ridge is New Mexico. This side is the uh, McKittrick Ridge side, but it's a lot farther back behind there. You can't see it right now. And uh, I'm just now hiking into McKittrick Canyon. So we're still in the desert section of the trail. Uh, the farther we hike back, uh, the creek will appear and actually be water flowing through it. I'll show you Wallace Pratt's stone cabin, uh, a hunter line shack, and uh, the grotto. Really excited about this trip. Last time I hiked this little section of McKittrick Canyon, there was a ton of water in here. And uh, my wife was with me, and it was a really good time. But uh, all this had water in it, and we were crossing. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna put this away for a while and try to get going, and I uh, will see you up the trail a little bit. So I basically have three options for my hike today. Um, my ultimate goal is to make it to McKittrick Ridge campsite. Um, which I've been to before, but it was from the McKittrick Ridge Trail side, not the McKittrick Canyon side. Anyway, so my legs are hurting pretty bad yesterday, and I was thinking I wasn't going to be able to do this hike at all. Woke up this morning, felt quite a bit better. So, one, I can hike all the way up there, see it, and hike all the way back. If I think I can be back before they lock the gates at 6, it is uh, 9 o'clock whenever I started. I said in my previous video that I was starting my hike this morning at eight, but uh, that was central time, so it was actually only seven o'clock here. I made it back to my car and resupplied by nine, and so I started my trip. So if I can make it up there and back, that would be one option. Second option is my original plan of just hiking up there and staying at McKittrick Ridge tonight and hiking down in the morning. And then the third option is uh, give it a go see how high up I can go and if my legs are hurting too bad or not cooperating then I'll just turn around and come back and stay at Pine Springs tonight um, yeah, I got some stuff I need to do tomorrow that's why I'm trying to push it if I can um, if not it's fine I would love to stay up here but anyway uh, we'll see how it goes it's a cool little stone table made with local stone just right here next to the trail great place to take a break Take in some views. Pretty neat, this whole flank of this mountain is a lot of prickly pear. And if you swing over this way, that whole flank of that mountain right there, it's got prickly pear, but it's solid ocotillo. Really cool. Well, I've been looking for them the whole trip. This is my first snake of the trip. You know, I always enjoy showing my favorite plant from out here, Texas Madrone tree. I don't know what it is about it, the bark, the berries, the leaves, everything. Absolutely love them. Absolutely beautiful spot in the creek. It's flowing pretty good now. A good wildflowers. It's a beautiful spot. So as you can see, I'm crossing a creek bed again and there's no water. So basically from what I understand, the creek somewhat flows on top of the ground and then it goes underground and then it reemerges again. Um, and I don't know if it does that several times or just one time but uh, I guess once I get farther up stream we'll figure it out I'm not too far from uh, Pratt cabin right now and I'll holler back at you when I get there this wash right here or it's part of the creek is where my wife and I 
ended our McKittrick Canyon hike a few years ago and uh, we had to make it out before they locked the gate so we didn't get to make it all the way to the cabin but I'm pretty sure I'm fairly close but anyway from uh, right here I'm now hiking a section of trail I've never hiked before and uh, every step on is a new step starting to see some pretty big pine trees mixed in you can definitely tell the vegetation is changing a lot thicker and a lot of shade all right this is the wall through the trees leading up to the cabin and my wife's gonna be upset because we were probably five minutes hike from being to the cabin last time we were up here there's the entrance let's go check it out So this is the garage at Pratt Cabin. Uh, it's built very similar to the actual cabin. Stone walls and stone roof. Um, it's detached and I believe the trail I hiked in on um, was the old road. I believe they had a road where they could access this house. And yeah, this is the back of the cabin. Very cool. Well, they don't have it opened up today, but looking through the window, you can see here's the bedroom. Um, they do have it open some uh, weekends, holidays, things like that, where you can come in and take a look. And this is around the front of the house, front porch. Great place to sit and hang out, which is what I'm going to do. Take a short break. This is the view from my chair here on the front porch. Not too bad. There's a deer over in the wash staring straight back at me. It's the first deer I've seen today. Saw two last night when I got back to my campsite. This trail past the cabin is really nice. You're in pretty thick trees. And not this section right here, but most of it's been almost just a dirt trail, which has been pretty nice. And uh, just completely different than anything else out here I've hiked through. Just made it to the grotto. Very cool cave-like structure and it feels really cool down here temperature wise it's very neat to see for those of you who don't know these mountains are in the same structure that runs all the way to Carlsbad Caverns it's a picnic area here at the grotto and it's all made out of stone stone benches stone tables all here in the shade Right here next to the grotto really cool area i think i'm gonna stop and take a break uh, maybe get my lunch ready to go and i'm gonna head farther up the trail to the hunter line shack check it out this is the hunter line cabin just a couple minutes walk up the trail from the grotto an old some sort of old structure there water tank up the hill and this is the cabin stone cabin with a metal roof I don't have a lot of information about the cabin um, but just another cool structure out here awesome views all the way around um, they don't ever open it up for you to go in it says but it does say it was built in 1924 and uh, pretty amazing that it's still standing out here Really cool. Just started my ascent up to McKittrick Ridge. And it's gonna be a tough one. This is supposed to be the toughest trail in the park. We'll see how it goes. Well, I made it to the notch, 
which is a window that looks between the two canyons. Look at that rock wall, massive. This is the way I'm headed. This is the way I just came from, back down there. Well, I felt pretty sick the whole way up here. I think it's because I just ate lunch and then started up. Also, it's gotten significantly hotter and obviously way steeper. I think I still have a little over a thousand feet up. Not really sure, maybe a couple miles. I'm trying to power through. I really want to make it to the top. Well, I made it. I'm at the McKittrick Ridge campsite. And now I'm done with every step of every trail out here at Guadalupe Mountains. I'm so tired. I'm really proud of myself. I've always wanted to finish all these trails out here. Stuck with it. There was a whole bunch of times during today's hike where I wanted to turn around and go back. I just kept pushing up. A lot of false summits on this trail. Really demoralizing. And I've felt sick the whole way up, but I made it. Well, I made it up to the campsite in time to be able to turn around and head back down tonight if I wanted. Um, I just didn't think I had it in me, so I decided to go ahead and set up camp and uh, finally get to lay down. My legs are screaming, and uh, it feels so good to lay down. Anyway, uh, I'm going to probably take a nap, or I might uh, watch a TV show or something. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to enjoy being around camp this afternoon. Guys, I walked out here to the edge of the canyon. Just some amazing views from right here. McKittrick Ridge campsite's one of my favorites. I've been up here one time before, and uh, it's one of the better campsites. Um, no winds to speak of hardly at all. Uh, this whole trip, it's been really nice, and uh, should set up to be a pretty good night. Um, I'm just gonna sit here and take in the views, man. I'm loving it, it's awesome. I just want to say a quick thank you to uh, anybody watching this video, my subscribers, um, especially everyone who's been with me for a long time and seen all my Guadalupe Mountains videos. I really appreciate y'all uh, watching my videos. I've really enjoyed making these videos from out here. Um, it's been really fun, very challenging. Uh, it's a tough place to hike. Um, but I just want to say thank you and thank you to my wife and uh, my kids. I know they sacrifice a lot by letting me come out here for days at a time and I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, th that being said, this is gonna be my last time out here for a while. And uh, it's not gonna be my last time out here ever. I have other trips I wanna do. I've hiked all the trails, but um, I wanna do some off trail stuff and summit some of the other peaks that don't have trails to go to them. Um, but I'm gonna take a break from out here for a while, stay closer to home, spend time with family, try to get into some new experiences, and uh, yeah, go backpacking some new places. So I've really enjoyed it out here, and uh, I, hope, I hope that you've uh, enjoyed following along. Um, I hope these videos have been informative in some way and somewhat entertaining, and uh, hopefully I haven't complained too much, uh, but they will wear you out for sure. Anyways, guys, uh, I'm just going to take in the sunset, hang out for a while, head back to camp and have dinner. Anyway, uh, 
like I said, thank you all very much. Good morning, everybody. I'm up early this morning. It's 5.15 mountain time, and the sun should be coming up, or at least first light here in about 45 minutes. But uh, I want to get an early start on it, try to get done today. I'm just headed back to the car, hopefully be done in about four hours. And uh, yeah, just gonna try to go quick as I can without getting hurt. Well, something I totally didn't expect to see was I was hiking along. I'm probably a half mile from my campsite and uh, right almost on the trail, I could have touched it with my trekking pole, was uh, somebody else's tent. I guess they had all they could handle up this mountain and just found the first flat spot they could find. It was pretty much right on the trail. And I don't know if I'd say that was the best idea, but they probably thought they were the only person up here or they might have just been so tired they didn't really care. <laughs> Sun's just starting to break the horizon. You can just barely see. It's about 6.20 and it's just lighting up. I can turn my headlamp off and uh, start to take in some of these views. Really pretty. Another thing to look for, you can see one right there in the middle of the shot, is uh, sides of these mountains have little small caves all in them that's one really cool thing to keep an eye out for out here uh the night hiking really wasn't bad it was kind of fun um, i never felt in too much danger but i will say keep in mind that about three foot to your right or left depending on which way you're going is about a 2500 foot drop <laughs> so as long as you're feeling up for it it's pretty fun and it's awesome hiking in the cooler temperatures it feels great right now well you know a trail is steep whenever they carve you your own set of steps through the rock If you'll notice you don't hear any crunching under my feet, it's because I'm walking on a dirt trail. Solid dirt, no rocks at all. Very rare out here. Uh, this section, just past the grotto, this section between the grotto and uh, Pratt Cabin, one of the prettier sections of trails they have out here. It is super nice. A lot of good mixture of trees right along the creek and uh, super quiet. It's really peaceful. We'll talk about some things I've seen on this trip. Um, see, I've seen six deer. Four of them were in the Kittrick Canyon yesterday. Um, I haven't seen a whole lot of mammals. I've seen a squirrel, one chipmunk this morning, and I heard something. It was something small that moved slow, rustling around um, in the brush on my way down this morning, and I never could hit it just right with my headlamp to figure out what it was um, and uh, let's see I saw that one little snake and a ton of bugs there were a few mosquitoes up at uh, Wilderness Ridge I didn't have any at the Kittrick Ridge last night um, and uh, really just been seeing a ton of butterflies and a ton of birds and uh, I think that's really cool a ton of different kinds um, I can't tell you what they were 
There's some really pretty ones and some had some really interesting songs. Um, one thing I haven't seen out here is people. And that happens every single time I come out here. That's what I love about this place. Um, this is, I don't know if this is the most popular trail in the whole park. It's either this or Guadalupe Peak. Um, but this trail is usually pretty packed. And uh, I didn't see anybody my first day around Salt Basin Loop or uh, Permian Reef. And then I saw two people yesterday, uh, a couple from Denver. I stopped and talked with them at the grotto for just a little bit and uh, they're real nice and uh, gave them some pointers about some other places that I've been um, they might want to check out because they've never really been down this way before so uh, other than that it's the only people I've seen I saw that tent on the trail this morning and uh, that's it so pretty much anytime you come out here backpacking you're not going to see people no matter where you go which is really nice unless maybe it's a holiday or weekend or something you might see one or two but for the most part it feels like you got the whole place to yourself so you can see right here some of the flood debris that's hung in these trees and uh, kind of gives you an idea of just how full this creek can get it's a dry creek bed right now um, but with a really good rain um, it can definitely get high I've seen a video on YouTube I think Guadalupe Mountains might have posted it just a raging raging river coming down through here and uh, really cool to see Well, I'm back at the Pratt cabin. I'm taking a break on the front porch and uh, just happened to look up and there's a small buck maybe 30 yards away out in the grass. Here, have a look. He must be fairly used to people because he's walking straight up toward me. Very cool. Well, guys, I'm going to end the video here at uh, Pratt Cabin. And uh, what a great way to end the trip. I still got a couple more miles on the way out. And uh, I'm just going to take those and have them to myself. I really appreciate you guys for all watching and sticking with me. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you get a chance to uh, come out to Guadalupe Mountains, definitely put this one on your list. It was a great hike. Uh, until next time, guys, we'll see you.